We wanted to briefly discuss the the usefulness of the Flash CS3 help file that's in the authoring tool. Up in the top uh, menu uh, selections here, in the pull downs, the last one is help, and the first selection there is Flash help, or you can get to to it by pressing uh, F1 as a hotkey. Uh, but you open that up, and if you're in uh, Action Script 3 project, then you'll see that you have. Uh, I, I just searched sound a little while ago uh, but what you can do is search what you're trying to do or what you're trying to figure out or what you think it might be labeled as in the help file right there and you hit search and then it lists everything in a keyword fashion down and pulls all the pages up that would be relating to what you searched in your query uh, and it pulls all of that stuff up and will give you the examples and all the info they have on that uh, but without even searching, uh, within the uh, the pull downs here, you have pretty much everything you could want to learn how to do is right here within the help file. Uh, we see a lot of people going into forums uh, requesting uh, code on how to make buttons and how to work with sound and how to uh, make visualizations or anything like that. and uh, all of the the knowledge you need to do all of that's right here in the help file uh, and and a whole lot more I mean granted not everything that you can do with flash is listed here in their help file but everything that you could possibly create uh, the fundamentals for it all are is is right here uh, so don't disregard the help file it's very useful and it has all of the code examples for pretty much everything you could want to learn how to do like I said you type in sound once you hit sound or well, once you type in sound and hit search it gives you a new list here and everything you click on you'll see that the sound is highlighted uh, the word sound is highlighted everywhere in the text and there's also uh, examples everywhere in there pausing and resuming a sound you click on that and here's code you just uh, copy and paste it straight into your frames wherever they tell you to there and they explain to you how to create the little applications so everything you need is right there and if you go through that whole set of uh, lessons and and help in there you'll have uh, you'll be a flash cs3 expert and you can teach flash cs3 to other people because you'll have a broader understanding of what's really going on there Okay, we'll see you next lesson.